What is going on, guys? John and with another video. And today, man, I'll be talking about my boy Bam Adebayo. Now, Bam Adebayo has broken out this season, and if you kept up with him ever since he was at he was a five star recruit and ranked the seventh best player in the twenty sixteen class in the state of Kentucky, you obviously would know that he's always had the potential to be this good. In his lone year in Kentucky, Bam averaged thirteen points, one point five blocks, eight rebounds, and shot fifty nine point nine percent from the field in thirty games. In 30, in 30 minutes per game, and also in 38 games in which he started all of them. This is not a bad year for Bam at all, but being the number five ranked prospect, you expected him to, to be better, but you got to remember how star-studded Kentucky was. It is. Especially the, the year that Bam was there, where they had both highly touted prospects, De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk. After this season, Bam would end up the foregoing his final three years at Kentucky and would enter the 2017 NBA Draft, where he, where he would be selected with the 14th overall pick by the Miami Heat. In his first two seasons with with the song Whiteside getting the bulk of the minutes at center, Bam didn't break out. He finally started to break out when Miami traded Whiteside to the Blazers, and this is when Adebayo started to absolutely flourish. Also, this season, by the Miami Heat are playing Bam, Bam Adebayo at the, at the four, which is his true position, and he's absolutely flourishing. Bam is not a shooter at all, which is why he needs Myers Leonard to be at center to space the floor because he can't do so. Even his own teammate, Jimmy Butler, wants him to shoot more and even finds him $500 per game for not attempting a three-pointer. This season, in 33 games and 30, in 33 starts, Bam Adebayo is averaging 15.6 points, 1.2 blocks, 1.4 steals, 4.6 assists, 10.6 rebounds, and shooting 56.3% from the field. He's pretty much doing it all besides shooting threes. He's rebounding, scoring, efficiently passing the basketball, which is what you want to see out of a big man, and he's playing amazing defense. And now that brings up the topic on whether or not Bayman Abayo is a legitimate all-star candidate. And uh, in terms of front court players, he's still behind players like Giannis Antetokounmpo, Anthony Davis, Carl Anthony Towns, Joel Embiid, and Nicole Leokas, just to name a few. I feel like he has a chance, but he just has to keep up this pace, and he cannot slow it down because his competition in the front court is crazy good, so he has to keep up with them and show that he deserves to play in the All-Star game. And I also feel that he still has fuel in his body and is out to prove everyone wrong, especially Team USA, who caught this offseason in favor, in favor of Nuggets center Miles Plumley, which is still blasphemy to me because they both can't shoot. They're both pretty much the same in terms of skill when it comes to shot blocking, but when it comes to all around skill, Bam and Bio, like, it's not even close. Like he's obviously the much better player and it's still, like I said, still blasphemy that he got cut in favor of Miles Plumley. but uh, I'm not going to get too much into that. But yeah, man, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys think whether or not Bam and Bio is a, um, a, a legitimate all-star candidate because I, all, I do... Not to be biased or anything because I'm a Miami Heat fan, but if you guys watch Bam Adebayo like I watch every single game of him, of his, he literally is like the perfect um, front guard player. He passes, if only he could shoot, like if, if oh my god bro, imagine if um, Bam could shoot, his game would be just that much better. Like, just think, ju just how good Bam is right now, imagine with a consistent three-point shot or a consistent mid-range shot, like oh my god, but yeah. I definitely feel like Bam Adebayo is a, is a uh, legitimate, legitimate all-star candidate. I could see him maybe getting in with... He just has to keep up this pace, like I said. If, if he keeps up this pace and uh, maybe even improves and uh, gets more triple-doubles, because my boy making a triple-doubles recently, uh, I feel like he can definitely um, make the all-star team, and I'm hoping that he makes it. And other than that, man, this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It's been your boy, John, and I'm out, man.